2,500 students go to Central Falls Public Schools. This is a small enough community where I see an opportunity for all of us working together. Mayor Maria Rivera says the district is systemically failing. The Rhode Island Department of Education has overseen the district for more than 30 years. A report released by the mayor's office shows gaps in support for multilingual students and those with special needs, low RICAS test scores, and claims under funding for decades. Part of it recommends the district returns to local control, something Rivera says the governor has hinted will happen. I'm not doing this to point fingers. I'm doing this because it's time that we work together. If the schools are going to come back to this community as the mayor of the city, I need to know what's happening. And we have an opportunity here for all of us to be sitting at the table. I moved to this country three years ago. Sofia Roca Ruiz is a CF high school student from Colombia. I've seen it myself and I have friends that only speak Spanish and it's really hard for you to learn a new language at the same time as keeping up with your classes and learning new things while you're well, you're not like be able to express yourself fully in a language that is not your own. Well, I'm a resident of Central Falls. Isabel Amato is a parent to two children with autism. She removed her children from Central Falls schools when she says they weren't given resources they need. The fact that where could they be now if the proper resources were in place is very heartbreaking to me as a mother. I spoke to school superintendent Stephanie Downey Toledo. What was your initial response to seeing the report published this morning? So I am always grateful for anything that can bring the conversation about improving public education. And we need to make sure it's grounded in facts. So seeing the report full of so many inaccuracies and omissions is concerning. Downey Toledo admits the district struggles, but says there have been improvements with the state's help. There is so much that we have been able to do in the last five years to pave the right path. So the right work is underway and we are excited to keep doing it. Ride released a statement saying it has supported with money and other resources Central Falls Schools and its school leaders to improve learning and school infrastructure. I'll keep digging into this story for you. Abby Bedicavoli, NBC 10 News.